Yo, welcome back to my first playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2 on Xbox One. We're doing another Stranger Mission now. Probably another short one. So the American Inferno Burnt Out Part 5. And it just says again, return with some food to Evelyn Miller. So let's do that. See if something different happens this time. Oh, his curtain's shut this time. There's flies everywhere. Right, you might be sir. dead. Mr. Miller? What's that smell? Oh, no. Mr. Miller. He's dead. Oh, shit. Crazy bastard. When I'm done, just burn me. I want to soar in the air with the eagles, not rot in the ground with the worms. Evelyn Miller. Let's have a read. What does that mean? Chapter 10, 11. Chapter 13 by Evelyn Miller. America. To even consider America as an ideal, a place, an integer, is to constrain it with the ideas of the European. I am a European, or at least of European descent. I am a writer. People used to pay me to think, or perhaps not to think, but to pretend to think in the correct manner. I worked at a university, those god-awful places where we send our best and brightest to bore themselves and prevent too many original thoughts emerging. I ran away. I ran mostly because I am a terrible coward, but also in part because I was searching for something. In this way, I was both vain and a coward. Maybe I should never have left the university. Here I am, deep in the wilderness, living like a half-cooked hermit. Truly, I mean like a truly sightless seer. And still I search and still I do not quite find. Have I and those countless fops born into lives like mine across the East Coast and the Middle West? And the genteel parts of the South? Been forever ossified like so many generations of Europeans before us. Into men that are at once not men. Mutate us into thinkers who can never quite think. For we have been denuded of the ability to feel. Was this the method by which the serpent and the apple removed us from Eden? Not by letting us see, but by allowing us to think, and thereby forever stopping us feeling. I am almost entirely consumed by my doubts, yet there is within me still a tiny spark that tells me it is possible. This land makes possible the chance of absolution. Absolution from the European hell of thought and back to the Eden in which man can live as a sentient. Yes, but above all, as sensate, as a creature of God, alive in his world. This world, pure, not clouded by idiocy, not imagining himself as God as so many of us are forced to do, but happy as a child of God. But still, my thoughts come upon me like wolves. My needs swamp me. My desires overwhelm me. It is not mortality I now fear, but its opposite, that idiot's part of me that attempts to convince me I am above mortal concerns. The foolish part of man that tells him he is immortal, that tells him that whispers like the serpent, that seduces like the apple, that charms like Eve, that tells him he is a god. I am not god. In this truth, I will find my absolution. I shall be set free. The trees and the wolves howl, and the dance of the raindrops shall set me free. My lord, but this is utter tripe. Yet there is something there. I know there is. I pray now only for the talent to make this make some kind of sense. Oh, the lot of the fool who aspires to more. Ours is the most humiliating of burdens. Well, that was uh, very poetic. What a shame. He must have died of starvation or something. Let's see if there's anything in here. Nothing in the wardrobe. Let's 
So we're giving him like a cremation. Goodbye, Mr. Miller. Could start a fucking forest fire burning that shit. So that was the fifth part of that stranger mission and the final part. So, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed that. If not, go fuck yourself. Have I seen you in my next part?